Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Daniel Bushes. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a killer 404 page. Um, for those of you who are just coming across the tutorial, or maybe someone forwarded this to you, uh, welcome. By all means, if you uh, like the content, share it, uh, subscribe to my free business tips and tutorials and resources. I send them out on a monthly basis. And uh, other than that, uh, just to give you a quick overview, I'm a professional marketing consultant, business coach, uh, and I'm an Infusionsoft certified consultant. So let's get started. So in case you're wondering, if you don't know what a 404 page is, a 404 page is the default page that shows up in a search result when you either hit a broken link or the web page has been deleted. And I'm sure everyone's come across one at some point in time. And if you really think about it, uh, there's not a lot of attention uh, or intent that's spent in uh, drafting or creating a 404 page. Most business owners think, well, you know, I don't want a lot of people going there and I don't expect people to be going there. So, you know, it's, I'm going to leave the default. However, I think that's a missed opportunity. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because it's ultimately going to happen. And when it does happen, uh, you want to a, you want to convey a positive experience as much as possible, right? Uh, B, you want to be able to provide some kind of solution, right? The standard 404 page usually says, uh, hey, uh, co go to the home page or uh, try to search for something, right? Search for what you were looking for. Well, that's kind of helpful, but it really doesn't deliver what they're expecting, right? Um, and so what you want to do is you want to create a better experience and the third thing, I think the number one overlooked thing in 404 pages is you've got a potential lead that's coming into your website. You're not sure if you've captured their email or not. So why not use the 404 page as an opportunity as a lead magnet? So I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit later into this tutorial. Um, but the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of give you a, uh, a little bit of a, of a story here so you can understand where I'm coming from on why I think a 404 page is so important. So imagine you're really hungry and you know, you're, you're like, okay, I'm going to go drive to the store and I want to get um, a cheeseburger, right? And you drive over to, you know, to your, the store. Uh, it's the closest one, so it's the most convenient for you. You don't care if it's necessarily the best cheeseburger. It's just you're hungry. You just want a cheeseburger and just be done with it, right? And you drive over there, and they're closed. And so they've got a sign, and, you know, this one says, sorry, we're closed. But let's just, you know, for this uh, story here, assume that they've got a sign that says, sorry, we're closed. You know, go to our corporate headquarters, and from there, then... Um, you know, we can help you uh, di direct you to where you can get a cheeseburger. Now, I don't know about you, but what I would do is I certainly went and go drive over to wherever the headquarters are. I would literally leave and go to the next closest place that looks okay, and I get a cheeseburger there. And then in the back of my mind, I'd say, well, I know that store is closed, so I'm not going to go back there. I'm actually going to go to this other place now because uh, they're open. Uh, they serve what I want, and it wasn't an issue, and I'm going to be done with it. So that's exactly how um, online experiences are, and especially for 404 pages. If it's if it's a new person that's never been to your website, um, and they show up, and you've got a 404 page, and it's not really delivering any value or offering an immediate solution, then what they're going to do is they're going to bounce, they're going to leave, go directly somewhere else, go find another person that doesn't have a 404 uh, issue or that can serve up a solution for them immediately, <clears throat> excuse me, and then they're going to be off and you, you're, ne you're never going to hear from them again. So that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to prevent that and we're going to try to make that better. Now I've got a couple examples and I'll show you this. So this is a uh, Lego's 404 page. Now obviously uh, quite a, a wealthy successful company. And the issue here with this 404 page, I mean, it's a great, it's a funny little graphic, you know, it's very entertaining, but it doesn't do its job. Its job is to solve your problem, right? Hey, I was looking for something, for whatever reason, uh, something happened, I didn't get there, 
yeah, I appreciate the humor. That's nice. Um, but you didn't solve my problem. So, you know, you're just leaving me potentially in an agitated state. <clears throat> now, this one over here meant um, they, again, they've got a nice designed 404 page. The one thing I like about their 404 page is that they give you options. So I don't know if you can see down here, it's a little bit small, but they give you an option to go to the personal finance solution, uh, to go to their mobile app and to go to their blog. So um, that's good. That's much, much better than most of the 404 pages that you see because most of them just have this kind of stuff right here. Oh no, you know, you got to a 404 page. Now go try to find what you were looking for, right? That kind of sucks to be honest. So this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right now and we're gonna design and build you a kick-ass 404 page that's hopefully gonna attract leads when it does get some a visitor. We're gonna get you a lead uh, and we're gonna get that customer uh, where they need to go and we're also gonna notify you. That's the biggest thing, right? If you notice all these 404 pages, they're not doing anything to notify the site owner. So if you think about it, how many visitors might hit that 404 page and you'll never know. You're sitting around thinking your website's doing great, you're getting traffic, but you've got, you know, potentially, you know, it could be 10, it could be 100, it could be 1,000 people hitting a 404 page. That's lost business, and that potentially could be also lost paid traffic, okay? So um, if you've never looked at your 404 page or you don't know where it is to find it, it's a very simple thing that you can do. Just go to your website and um, just type in whatever your domain is, forward slash, and let's just assume that you don't have a uh, page called 123, okay? So what you can do is type in your domain name, forward slash 123, and that will serve up a page that does not exist on your website, and that'll take you to your own 404 page. So once you've seen what your own 404 page looks like, that's great, now you can actually log in um, I have a WordPress site and I use Thrive Themes. So if you happen to have that, that's great. You log into the admin panel of your WordPress site. Now, as a side note, um, different themes have, um, have their settings in different areas and by no means am I a WordPress expert. But it either should be in your appearance section or it should be in the settings. Um, like I said, I'm not a WordPress expert. I use Thrive. so. Uh, it actually happens to be in the Thrive dashboard for me and in um, theme options. And in the theme options, you'll see right here uh, 404. And this is where you can find your 404 and you can start to edit that, okay? So now that you know, your, now that you know what your 404 page looks like and you know how to access your 404 page, what we wanna do is we wanna start actually building out some of that content for you and um, create a better experience. So what we're gonna do is the first thing that I'm gonna actually show you is in here, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger and I think I can. So I've got a little bit of humor here too. It says, oh snap, there's a, a picture of a, a cat and it says, looks like you unlocked a secret chamber or maybe just a broken link. Either way, Rockstar, let's get you in the right direction. Take a second to let me know what you were looking for. Just answer the question below. And I'm gonna get to this part in a second, what's below this, because um, this is an integral piece. But what we're gonna do is for you, just figure out whatever your brand message is that matches with your tonality and your website, and then you can put that in there. Um, so you can have any kind of language you want. Um, just so you know also, by default, uh, my 404 page has a search bar at the top, right above this. It just goes in by default, which is totally fine. Okay, so that's the first part, is you've written some copy on your 404, 404 page. Now what we need to do is we're gonna actually go into your CRM. So uh, like I said, I'm an Infusionsoft certified partner and certified consultant, so I build in Infusionsoft. Um, you don't have to build in Infusionsoft if you have something else, it's totally fine. But um, this, is, uh, this is what I prefer. And um, so what I've done is I've created a web form right here. I've called it a 404 web form. I've also created my campaign, if you notice up here, it's called the 404 page campaign. And so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna create a web form. 
And the web form asks for the email address. And then it says, what type of content were you looking for when you got this 404 page? Check the box below for the topic. Now, um, for my example, I'm a marketing consultant. I'm also an Infusionsoft certified partner. I'm a business coach and um, you know my marketing agency that I've owned for the last 19 years um, does marketing and it does events. So I just happen to have events on there too. But my primary pillars of what I offer on my website, which are the primary categories, are really marketing, coaching, and Infusionsoft services, okay? So whatever the three or however many pillars of what your website are, those main categories, that's what you're, you're gonna wanna have in your web form, okay? So if you are a online shoe retailer and you've got dress shoes and hiking shoes and running shoes and you know flip-flops, then maybe those are your main categories, okay? Try to keep it to the bare minimum. The more options you give uh, people, the less likely they are to take action, okay? And then of course, don't forget, you're definitely gonna wanna have an other slash not listed. You can name it anything else that you want, but for me, I put other not listed. And um, then of course, give them an opportunity to write in their own words what they were looking for. And the reason why we have that is specifically because if they fill out this information, A, you're gonna capture their email address, which is great. B, they're gonna tell you the topic of the content that they were looking for. <clears throat> And then for example, maybe you had um, a uh, personal success blueprint that you give out for free for coaching uh, uh, leads, right? And so they went to your website and they tried to find um, this personal success blueprint, which is your tripwire. And for whatever reason, you updated it or something and the link got broke. And so they weren't able to find it. So if they say, hey, I was looking for coaching services and then they write in the text area, oh, I was looking for your free personal success blueprint then, and they submit that to you, then that's gonna identify and tell you immediately. You're gonna get the notification, it's gonna say, oh yeah, you know, John Doe at you know, 123.com uh, was looking for uh, a coaching topic and he was looking for this um, personal success blueprint. He got the 404 error. That's gonna trigger into your mind or your staff's mind to say, ah, okay, we gotta fix that. That's right, we updated that PDF or we actually moved that page or renamed the subtitle of the page or whatever. And so that's what's causing the, the 404. So what we're actually doing, if you actually think about this, is we're solving a problem, right? So they're letting us know, which is great. They're, we're basically in a, in a roundabout way crowdsourcing information for our website, right? And um, they're gonna fill out that information. That's gonna give us the ability to quickly and efficiently change um, what the issue is and then um, reconnect with them and deliver upon, or hopefully deliver upon what they are looking for, right? In a quick and expedient fashion. So on my little thank you form, I'd send it to a thank you page that I have on my website that's a default. Now, one thing to say here. So if we just go back to refresh your memory, so I've got these core uh, categories of my website, right? Marketing service, coaching service, and fusion soft services, right? So whatever those are for, your, for you, what I've gone ahead and did is that I created a decision diamond and then I've created a category specific sequence for each of my main pages, which are also highlighted in the web form. And so what's this gonna do is if someone comes to the web form and they fill it out and they check, you know, hey, I was looking for a coaching and, you know, then they write in about the, you know, I was looking for your personal success blueprint and I couldn't find it. Well, this is gonna put them based off their selection into this campaign sequence right here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to send them a customer facing email. Now, what I have over here, just in case you're wondering, is I've set this up to actually send myself an email, okay? And the reason why is because I just want to let um, myself know where the 404 was coming for, from and who it was, right? And anything that they wanted to tell. Now, I have a little bit of a, I'd like to think I have a little bit of a sense of humor. So I, you know, this is going to me. So I just say, hey dummy, uh, you got a 404 error coming from coaching related content. The person who submitted the form 
provided the following details and it's going to give me their email address and it's going to give me whatever they write and um, that's it and then I've set it up here um, and the other option where it can go to right so in Infusionsoft you can send it to an email address or whatever I chose other and I put my own email address in there and then of course for the subject line I let myself know it's coming from the DB which is Daniel Bushes, the Daniel Bushes website it's a 404 notification and it's coming from a category specific of coaching okay so you certainly don't have to do that in Infusionsoft there's settings and I will jump here real quick there's settings inside of Infusionsoft in which you can actually have it go directly so the web form itself will come directly to you and be notified if you input this information in the settings tab um, I like to be a little bit more specific so I've not only got that set up I also have um, an internal email that's going to me so I like redundancies this is kind of how I build um, you certainly don't have to do that okay so the customer facing 404 email okay so this one happens to be marketing I know we were talking about the coaching example but to be honest with you all of these campaign sequences right here are identical in nature the only difference is is that obviously the topic is going to change and then some of the content in the email email is going to change but you can most certainly duplicate this sequence all the way down and save yourself some build time by just right clicking and then go duplicate and then boom and you've got your next sequence that you can attach to your web form make sure you you know rename it and then um, in the customer facing email <clears throat> this is what it looks like and I'll show you what I did so I said uh, thanks for the heads up and then I've got you know my my branded email this uh, ITM that's my marketing agency that I own and uh, it says well gosh this is kind of embarrassing isn't it I appreciate you letting me know about this if you left me any comments in the web form I'll be responding to you shortly um, just as a side note the web form in the text box area um, I did not make it a required thing so if they didn't want to tell me anything they certainly don't have to but they did have to tell me where it's coming from okay then I go on in the meantime I want to make sure you have a great experience on my site so again kind of relating to we want to make sure that we fix the issue the customer journey and the customer experience is they show up to our website hoping to experience something and that doesn't happen so we're gonna fix that right so imagine you go to a nice restaurant and you know the steak comes out cold or not the right temperature um, if you have good service the manager or the waiter or the waitress comes over and says you know sorry sir or sorry ma'am um, we've already sent that back we've got a new one coming out uh, don't worry we've, we've comped your meal or we've done something else or here's a free appetizer while you wait for us to to fix it right they want to fix your experience and provide you with immediate solution that's exactly what we're doing here with the web form and of, of course here we're cementing verbally to them in you know a written um, format that we want to make sure you have a great experience on the website so here's a few links that you might have been looking for slash interested in and this is the content that you're going to put in here and if you know that they're coming from the marketing uh, section right and that's what they checked in the web form then you can serve up all kinds of information here and links in there for them same thing with coaching and you can set up in there um, you know your most popular blog posts or the most popular tripwires or you know things you know the most popular videos so you probably know through your Google Analytics and you know other things that you have that track um, your you know customer consumption and your visitor consumption um, what people are looking for so you can uh, anticipate that and put that right there in there for links for them um, and by the way here comes the kicker okay oh and in case you want a free 30-minute coaching session it's yours for the taking just click here and schedule your call okay so right here I sent them they went to a 404 page they filled out the information I send them an email immediately through my automated system saying hey thank you um, here's some links you might be interested in I'll respond if you uh, if you wrote any comments and um, if you'd like to have this free coaching session um, you know just click here and schedule it so again if we're going back to the example say if you're like an online shoe retailer you might want to put in this email oh you know really appreciate you taking the time to let us know this broken link here's 10% off your order click here to go shop now 
and that link takes them to the main page of your online store, right? Um, so this is a great way to spur action or to get them to do something. And it's coming, and, and the brilliance behind this is it's coming from a non-sales experience in the beginning, right? They weren't coming from, and I'm assuming they're not coming from paid traffic on Facebook or something, and you've, you're, you're sending broken links. You're paying for traffic, and it's going to broken links, right? So they're looking for something, and they came across this, and now you've slipped this in. Um, so you, you're going to kind of catch them off guard. It has to be a soft sell, in my opinion. So don't come out with something up front really aggressive. Um, and so um, what I also do is then I do a second call to action here, which is right here, and it says, um, almost forgot. Are we friends yet on social media? If not, make sure to connect with me, and I, of course I put it in bold here, right, to grab their attention, as I'm always handing out free cash to all my friends on social media every month. Okay, so my lawyer just yelled at me, Technically, it's not free cash, but it's free tips that make you cash. So that's basically free cash, right? Heck yes. Okay, so let's be friends. Click on my social media. Of, click on the social media of uh, your choice and enter the wor world of awesomeness. So you can kind of see how my brand messaging is. It's kind of playful. It's a little bit, I'd like to say it's witty. Um, so that's exactly what they're getting through this experience. And what I've just done is I've served up some experience for them to try to resolve the issue, provide them with immediate solution, to thank them for that, right? To let them know I want them to have a good experience. I slipped in um, a soft sell, and then I asked them to connect with me on social media because we have no idea where these people are coming from for the most part, right? We don't know if they're coming from an organic search or from you know paid traffic or from somewhere else. It could be a reciprocal link, right? You know, so. That's why it's, I think it's kind of important to have all those um, facets built into your email. So um, the next thing that I have here, and you guys certainly don't have to do this, but this whole section here is after they've gone through um, filling out the web form and getting the email, and of course, you know, you get the notification that you've got a broken link, so you can go and fix it, and then respond to that person also if it merits a response, right? Where you, you know. They write something in the in the custom area, and then you can then respond to them and say, hey, thank you so much. I know you were looking for this personal success blueprint. It's attached here. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with, blah, 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 blah. Okay. If you have um, someone that's on the email list, great. Um, then they'll go down here. They're already a newsletter subscriber. If not, then they can go down this path. And then down this path, once they're confirmed for your newsletter, then um, you can send them into the indoctrination sequence. Um, if, um, if they don't respond and they don't wanna be on the email list, then that's fine, you let them sit down here. Um, you certainly don't wanna just automatically put them on your email list, right? So you wanna send them an email and ask if they'd like to be on the email list. And um, I have two reminders, I wait three days. So three days later and then three days later and then that's it, I, I leave them alone, I don't wanna pester them, right? Um, you can create that however you want. So it's just a basic email giving them the option to opt into my email list. And the final thing, of course, is the indoctrination sequence. Um, if you have questions, you don't know what that is, or you want to know how I do it, I do it a little bit differently than most people. Um, by all means, just shoot me a message or a comment, and I'll be more than happy to uh, share that with you. Okay, so all this is the Infusionsoft or the automated campaign. Again, if you don't have Infusionsoft and you have something else, you can certainly build the same way. Um, you can just build it in your own system. I'm a certified partner with Infusionsoft, so if you have Infusionsoft questions, I'll be happy to answer that. But if you're in another CRM, um, I'll be happy to uh, discuss the strategy and the linear fashion or the vertical fashion of the sequences, but I, I can't help you because I only invest in one CRM. Now, let's go back to what the actual 404 page looks like, right? Because this is just the web form, right? There's, there needs to be more content. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you what my 404 page looks like. So here's the default right here. Um, here's the keyword, which that's okay, that's fine, that's what all the 404s usually come with. Again, here's where my little witty you know, um, commentary, I've got an image here. Um, oh, sorry. And there's the, the copy, right? So 
The copy down here, again, I already said it once, but it says, take a second to let me know what you are looking for. Just answer the question below. And here's my web form. And that's what they can fill out. And then, of course, it's a great opportunity for you to give them something else. Um, so right here, I've got recent blog posts that they might enjoy. So not only can they search for something, which is the default experience, not only can they self-identify and then get an email, right, that's going to give them um, links for other uh, pages and popular posts and content, but now they're going to have the opportunity to go and click on um, a link to go to, you know, a, a blog post. And so this happens to be the uh, tutorial we're going through right now. And so that's it. Um, I hope this has been um, useful for you. By all means, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, um, as always, please leave them on my page. Feel free to message me directly. And um, if you haven't done so, um, by all means, if you, if you want to get more great things like this, or I think they're great, you can let me know, uh, then just sign up for my newsletter. Okay, thanks everybody. I appreciate you taking the time and I hope this provides you a kick-ass experience to build your own killer 404 page.